Hello, Paul Robinson from Bushcraft Canada. Dot com. Okay, we're going to do another quick video just to uh, talk through the different um, differences in blade shape uh, of uh, axes. And I did a quick video on the Abbey and Eckland, and um, I thought I'd just go into a little bit more detail about the the bite shape of of some of the axes, and uh, talk about this straight bladed uh, carpenter's axes, just so you've got a bit more information when you come to pick your axe of your choice. So this is a very nice uh, Holdforth's carpenter's axe, and there's a couple of things to note here. First of all, this is straight cutting edge. Uh, and also the relatively flat grind as well. So of course when you're um, doing carpentry you want a very predictable even cut and this is why this edge is very straight. It does that because the, the level of penetration through the length of the blade is pretty even. You know, there's no high spots here or anything, it's fairly straight so you're going to get a nice even uh, penetration throughout the cut as long as you you know all things yeah, being even and you've you you've hit the wood in a nice square way uh you know you'll get a pretty even cut the relatively flat grind again tends to make a nice progressive even cut too and this is this, the whole reason for this blade shape is uh and the grind is to give you that predictability of cut that if you're a carpenter you really want because you just you want to be precise about what you're doing so this straight edge and this and this flat grind gives you that nice predictable even cut with an even penetration and a nice square cut nice a linear cut so the carpenter's axe is a very good for that kind of precise work uh, where you want that predictability so if that's what you're looking for carpenter's axes are the way to go um, they tend to cut very well like I say, very evenly. They don't tend to tear through wood, you know, they're going to give you that nice clean cut. Now, if you look at the Elkland, <coughs> the Eckland, sorry, is, is a little bit different, and that has this, what I call a bite cut. It has that shape, just like if you've bitten out of an apple, it has this curved uh, blade shape. And this is, this this does something different. And although the cut is fairly predictable, and, and uh, you know, is, is uh, fairly uh, even depth, uh, it's nothing like as even as the carpenter's axe, and it's not designed to be. So the best way to describe why this is a curve is if you think about um, a nail. So if you think um, of, if you have a log of wood and you're trying to, uh, and you drive a nail into it, the nail, all the energy and, uh, um, you know, all the effort you're putting in is, is um, concentrated on the point and it's that drive the nail in so you get very good penetration because all the energy has been directed in one tiny little area so you get very good penetration but I mean if you were trying to split a log with a nail you'd end up making thousands of holes along so what a nail gives you is very good penetration but not much width or spread of cut so obviously if you're working on a piece of wood and you want to firewood processing for instance you want to get through that wood as quickly as possible something like a nail shape is a, you know is going to use up a lot of energy take a lot of time but gives you good penetration so the idea of this curved cut is that you not only so what you do is you basically get it's a spread out point so when you were to use this axe and you strike a piece of wood let's say you strike it here the first part of the blade to hit it is going to be roughly here it depends on the angle and all kinds of variables but let's say it just hits it here so that gives you that advantage of concentrating the energy in a smaller area on the edge so you get that penetration but the curve then as the as the blade progresses through then spreads that cut so the beauty of a, sh of a blade shape like this is it gives you uh, the mechanical advantage of that penetration that you you're using a smaller area of the blade due to the initial cut and then as the blade travels in you then spread that cut around so it gives you those two big advantages so a, a, a an edge shape like this is basically designed to get through wood as quickly as possible it's designed to give you good penetration and a good spread of cut this also has a much more convex grind than the um, carpenter's axe and the reason for that is the convex grinds tend to open up those fibers a little bit better 
So if you, if you take this bite shape and the convex grind, they're trying to give you every mechanical advantage possible in order to get through as much wood as possible. And this is what this uh, edge is designed to do. It's designed to bite through as much wood as possible every time you cut. The cut's not going to be as even and predictable as the, as the um, carpenter's axe, although it is fairly predictable. But, this, but of course, because of the shape, there's going to be deeper penetration in one area and slightly less in the others. But it's probably going to cut deeper and further. And this is, of course, is what this uh, axe head is designed to do, to get through that wood as quickly and, and as efficiently as possible. So you can see all of the axes at uh, bushcraftcanada.com. When you come to pick an axe, you know, it's always a, a good consideration as to what kind of uh, axe you're looking for, what kind of head shape and, and uh, edge shape you're looking for. It's always useful to have a bit more information, be a bit more informed. This is a very good all-purpose axe. I've done some videos on this and you should have a look at those. But you can see all the axes, all the all their dimensions and uh, and uh, any other details on our website bushcraftcanada.com and as always with any of our products if you need more information you can just email me paul at bushcraftcanada.com.